Okay, paper three, aiming for grade four, we can do this. So, I've highlighted the key points. Sandy pays for two plane tickets. Seven nights in the hotel and two theme parks. So, each plane ticket we times by two. Each night in the hotel times by seven, 840. Theme park, 250 times two, that's 500. Remember, you've got your calculator and use it. No point making a silly mistake just because you're tired. So 120 times 7 is 840. 250 times 2, you should get that right, but that's 500 and so forth. It's three marks, show your method. Clearly, we need to add this up. Show that you've written that down. I'm sure that is worth going to be worth a method mark just writing it down so it is worth it don't be lazy it says show that Sandy pays all in $2,500 well just use your calculator 1200 add 840 add 500 2540 dollars and you've shown it haven't you and just state 2540 is greater than 2500 all right that work and that's your answer mark done okay let's have a look see that the graph shows some information about car production in the UK over eight years now you can see the years here eight Right, let's zoom in. For how many of these years was car production more than 1.4 million? Well, it's 1.4 million. Now you can see it's one, two, three, four, five. Right, that answer's got to be five. Five. In which two years was car production the same? Well, you can see it's this, these two here. So year five and six. Year five, year six. Right, this is very easy for you. Minus six, minus three, minus four. Let's say start with the smaller, so do do that. Zero, one, two, seven. Double check, I've got seven numbers here and there's seven numbers here. Let's go to question four. Write 40% as a fraction. Now, if we forget, I wonder if this allows us to do this. Let's do 40 shift percentage equals, oh look, that works. 0.42 over five, two over five. And that helps you do it in your simplest form or just write 40 over 100 I think both are acceptable but 40 over 100 we should know that anyway mark with a cross X a midpoint of a B so use a ruler measure that and find halfway through the ruler so it needs to be exactly halfway, so do use your ruler and go halfway in the ruler. Write down two factors of 35. Well, what number's going to 35? 7 and 5. 7 times 5 makes 35. Do use your calculator. Question 7. What fraction of this shape is shaded? Give your answer in its simplest form. Well, you know this is four squares times four squares. So that's 16 squares. How many are shaded? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Write 12 out of 16 to get one mark. If you, what number goes into both? You can divide that by four, divide that by that by four. So that's gonna be three quarters. Now, if in doubt, use your fraction button on your calculator. It's a calculator test. Do 12 over 16. Press equals 3 over 4. Done. Alright, you've got to be able to ace these things.
Right, let's be clear. Like just writing 12 over 16 is probably going to get you your method mark. And that three quarters is going to give you your answer mark. Right, let's continue. Right. Do remember you can pause the video and play when you're ready. I just want to go through this quickly. Uh, three cards in bag A and in bag B. List all the possible outcomes. So, let's do this. It takes a card from each bag, so let's be systematic. You can take E and J, and then E and K. Let's do this in order so we don't miss anything out. Next is F and J, and F and K. Right. Then G and J. Really, we should write that together. And. G, K, that's 6, which makes sense, because 3 combinations times 2, 3 times 2 equals 6. There's 6 combinations. Okay, and the ideal way is just write E, J, E, K, separated by the comma, F, T, F, J, I mean, uh, F, K, G, J, and G, K. That's an easy two marks, and we're not all getting two out of two for that, from your mock. Right, highlight, key information, five blue, two green and four red. Isabella is going to take one card from the pack at random. So, let's do five, add two, add four. There's eleven cards. Write down the probability that she'll take a blue card. Well, there are five blue cards. Lucky I'm writing blue. It's got to be five out of 11. That's probably your method mark up there. Right. Ken is going to throw a bias dice. That means it's not fair. The probability that the dice will land on the six is 0.3. What is the probability that the dice will not land on 6? So, we've got to think what's 1 minus 0 0.3 because 1 means 100%. 1 equals 100%. 0 0.3 means 30%. So imagine you're doing 100% minus 30%, which equals 70%, which you're allowed to write as a decimal. That's 0 0.7, that will get you your mark. Or 70% is fine as well. Work out 1, 6 or 66. So that means divided by 6. You probably know the answer straight away. But if we're not sure, let's just use a calculator. 1 over 6. Use your arrow. Make sure you use this arrow. Times 66. It is 11. Okay, there's no reason why you should be losing out a mark there. Oh, there you go. This is a bit of reading and comprehension. So, pack of four batteries, one pound sixty. Pack of six batteries, two pounds seventy. Harry needs to buy at least thirty batteries. He has to buy batteries in whole packs. He wants to buy the batteries as cheaply as possible from the same shop. The same shop is a key word. Which shop would Chitty buy batteries? Shop A or Shop B? You must show your workings. He wants to buy 30 batteries. Okay. So, Shop A does it in packs of four. Shop A is uh, packs of four. So we know 4 times 7 is 28, and you can use your calculator, 4 times 8 equals 32. So that means he needs four, uh, 8 packs, so 8 times 1, as you can use a calculator that's fine, show you're working out, it does say show all your working, so do read the instructions, times 1.60, that's 12.84, £12.80, remember that show all your working shop B uh, 
uh, the packs of six so you know, know you need to know he has to do five times six by five packs that's 30 pens I mean 30 batteries and that's 32 batteries batteries that's some working out so just do two pounds seventy times five that's thirteen pounds fifty So you should be shop A because it's cheaper. Cheaper. So you do need to communicate that. And you made that clear because it's £12.80. Now you do get a method mark for showing you how many packs you buy. So that's a valid skill you need to do that okay it says Harry's assumption is wrong he can buy single batteries for 40p each in shop A and 45p each in shop B does this affect which of these two shops Harry should buy the batteries from give a reason for your answer well well no because shop A is already cheaper no Shop A is cheap already. Already. So, for example, he can buy seven packs from Shop A, which is seven times one pound sixty. So, let's go seven times one sixty. That's eleven pounds twenty. That gives him 28 batteries, and he can add 40 and add 40. So that would only be 12 pounds for the 30. And 40p is less than 45p as well. You could write that anyway, so that all makes sense. Right. You can only do this if you remember this. So if you've got 300 here, can you see the difference here is times 3? So you have to times this by 3. That's 3 meters. We are getting this wrong people, some of us. Or you can, to go to centimeters to meters, you divide ooh, divide by 100, right? So divide by 100. Wonderful. Work out the premise of this shape. Right, some of us are getting this wrong, but you actually will have the skills to do this. Let's highlight this. This is 10 centimeters, and that's four. So that must mean this bit is 10 minus four, equals six. This bit is six. Remember, perimeter is the outside. You have to add up the whole, add outside add now this length we need to find now we've got 7 minus 5 here so that missing length must be 2 that's 2 centimeters and 6 so we have to add all those lengths up so 7 add 4 add 5 add 6, add 2, add 10 write that down remember calculator test, let's just type those numbers in no reason to lose an answer mark for no reason that will get you your method add 2, add 10 should get 34 gives you your centimeters so that is nicely done all angles around the point what do you know about angles around the point equals 360 so 
just add these numbers up. It's not going to equal 360, but just check. 23 add 145, add 23, add 69, equals 260, equals 260. And you can write 260 is not 360 degrees, which is angles around a point. It's the total angles around a point. 15, here a list of the first five numbers of a number sequence. Write down the next two terms. The next two terms is the next two numbers. Now you can see this is minus in five each time. So that's 20 and 15. Boom, nice easy mark. A term of this sequence is minus five, which term? Well, that's term one, term two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's term seven. So term 8 is 10, term 9 is 5, term 10 is 0, term 11 minus 5. So it's the 11th term, which is the 11th number in a sequence. So 11th term. Right, the nth term of a different sequence is given by the expression 4n plus 3. Find the ninth term of the sequence. That means you let 9 equals n, so what's 4 times 9 plus 3? Well, bid math, that's 36 add 3, 39, do feel free to use your calculator, that's fine. It's only worth one mark, so you can write the answer down, that's it. Right, scatter graph. Right, uh, loads of us got this wrong. One point is an outlier. An outlier is something that's out of the expected range or doesn't kind of make sense. So it's out of the range, it looks a bit abnormal, not quite right. When you look at all these points, it's kind of clear it's this one. So write down the coordinates of points, this is 100, go across and then 18. That should be an easy one mark. For another day, 370 cars pass the point on the road. Estimate the carbon monoxide levels for this day. So. That goes for 300 to 400. There's 10 squares, so each square is worth 10. So do count the seventh square. We start here. Now, for one mark, you draw a line of best fit. So, use a ruler. This is important. I cannot believe the amount of people lose a mark on this. So, draw a line that looks quite good. Use a ruler. Something like that, really, it should be probably a little bit further up. 370. Do a dotted line up to your line. And right. That looks like halfway between 12 and 13, 12 and 14, so I could say that's 13. And That's an acceptable answer. The range of answers they accept is 12.8 to 14.6. That gets you your answer mark. The line of best fit is important. Now let's just confirm. A line of best fit is you kind of want the same, this line to go in between all the crosses. So that's why I did say it should be probably a bit further up. And if it's a bit further up, you can see I will probably get closer to the answers they want. All right. Alfie says, because there is an outlier, there is no correlation. Right, well, you can see you can draw a line of best fit here. So there is a correlation. So no, that's not true. No, that's the whole point of outlier. No. Um, you can still see there is still a clear correlation. There is a correlation from there is a correlation from line of best fit. Best fit 
and you can describe uh, disregard outlier from the general trend disregard because that's the mean of outlier it doesn't it's something that doesn't fit the trend trend outlier as doesn't fit the trend or correlation fit the trend quadrilaterals okay find the value of y what do we know about four-sided shapes what do their total angles equal remember that formula n minus 2 times 180 it's four-sided so 4 minus 2 is 2 2 times 180 equals 360 remember that just in case you get a pentagon six-sided shape seven-sided shape so let's use our calculator this has to be 360 M minus all these numbers together so minus let's, we could just write it like this to be honest 65 minus 95 equals use your calculator avoid calculation errors we are making them in the exam 360 minus 130 minus 65 minus 95 equals 70 Oh, that's bound to get some method mark. 70. What do we know about angles in a straight line? Angles in a straight line equal 180. So we do 180 minus 70 equals 110. And that's the answer. Y equals 110 degrees. Three marks, easy peasy. Right. Write this as an ordinary number. This is funny. This is on a calculator paper as well. So if it's on a non calc, 4.5. Let's add loads of zeros. That means we move the decimal point five times. One, two, three, four, five. Decimal point is there. You know that's four, five, one, two, three, four. That's got no value. Cross that out. If you want to just double check on the calculator, type in four point five times. Can you see you've got ten to the power here? So press shift ten to the power of five equals boom. You've got the answer. Write 0 0.07 in standard form. Hmm, let's just try something. 0 0.007 equals. Oh, look, you can do it in standard form. Wow. Press the SD button. That's 7 times 10 to the minus 3. Right, give your answer in standard form. Right. This really on a calculator paper. Ah, well, I'm going to just show you how to do it on a calculator. Right, let's type in 4.2 times. Remember I said this button here by this log. Shift 10 to the power 3. Remember to use your arrow. Plus 5.3 times. Shift. That's 10 to the power of 2. Press equals 4730. That's your first step. Write that down. Equals 4730. Will it change it to standard form for us? No. Right, standard form is a number between 1 and 10 times 10 to the power of something. So we should know that's 4.73 times, is a thousands number, so 10 to the 3. Just type in your calculator and you can see. Imagine if you put 4.73 here. Remember that goes 1, 2, 3. That's one point we're here. So you know, that would be a 0 and that's y. And that's done. Right, you should ace that bad boy. Alright, good stuff. Hopefully that's going to help you a lot and gain you a lot of marks that you're losing and that we cannot be afford to lose. Well, afford to lose, alright? Alright. These videos are here to help you do make sure you can do this because if you can't do these questions then it's going to be really hard to get a grade 4. Really hard. But all these questions are achievable. Imagine that. Getting 40 marks right hit now. You don't need that many more marks for a real grade 4 because you've got another 40 marks to earn.